Good day, guys. Welcome back to GDX Academy. So, here yeah, is what we have for you guys today is measure of location part two. So, in our previous in our previous class, we talked about what measure of location is. Then we divided into measure of central tendency and measure of partition. So, for the other class, we discussed measure of central tendency alone. So, here is the part two for it. Which is measure of partition. Um, measure of partitions. Um, these are other means of measuring location. We recall that the median characteristics characterizes a series of values by its midway position. By extension of this idea, there are other measures which divide the series into a number of equal parts, but which are not measures of central tendency. These are measures of partition. The commons are the quartiles, quartiles decimals. decimals, and the percentiles, which you can see here. Then they are collectively, collectively called the quantiles, which is what I wrote here. Together, they are collectively called the quantiles. Okay. The method of computation for the quartiles following the same procedure for the median according to what is being measured. For instance, the position of the first quartile for a group is located by n divided by 4 and the value is determined graphically from O give or by the use of formulas done in the median. Also the position of locating the third quarter, which is which is what I'm talking about here, quarter, the seventh decimal is 7 over 10 and the tenth decimal is 10, 10 percent rather is 10 n over 100. We should know that the second quarter, fifth decimal, the formula to compute the quarter is summarized above where li represents the lower class, class boundary of the quantile class quantile class which is everything then the fi the small fi represents the frequency of the quantile class similar to that of our median then the bigger fi this represents the frequency of the quantile class why this bigger fi represent the summation of the frequency of all the classes lower than the quartile class. Let's also say the cumulative frequencies before the quartile class. Then C represents the class size of the quartile class. And N here represents the total number of items in the distribution. Question that I have for you guys today. So here is what we are going to be solving for today. So we are, um, we are told to look for the Q1, that is the first, uh, first lower quarter, the upper quarter, this, um, the decimals and the percentiles for the following data, seven decimals and the 20 percentiles. So starting from the first one, which is Q1. N over four. So our n here is 20, therefore 20 divided by 4 is what? 5, 4 for our q1, this is our community frequency, it falls under 6, therefore our l1 here, and knows that, also knows that I included yeah, class included boundaries that. here, that, that is done, you include our, um, our, our class boundary in a question like this. So our lower class boundary here is what? 2.5. Our frequency here is 4. Our cumulative frequency before, which is 2. Cumulative frequency before is 2. That is our big F. Then our class size, 5 minus 2, that is 3. Then we have everything that we need to keep going. So our uh, lower quarter here is you write the formula n over four minus big F so this, is a, this is our formula for sorry about that. This is our formula for our lower quarter. Therefore it's lost in this and every one of it. So this is two point five plus n divided by four is five. You just put 5 directly, minus 2. Then our frequency is 4. 
and three three so two point five plus three over four in brackets three so you mu you multiply this as two point five plus nine over four then once you divide this you have two point two five therefore two point five plus two point two five uh, Q1 is 4.75 You can see you Make sure you always write your formula And you get your class boundary You can see it So I'm aiming to make this class As quick as possible Okay, so our next it's question on the line five. is Our upper quarter which is Q3 That will be 3 in bracket N over 4 So note our N was 20 right Therefore 3 in bracket 20 divided by 4 that's 15 so our Q3 is 15 position position therefore we come back here 50 falls under this so our class boundary here is you write your L1 8.5 our frequency there is 4 frequency there is 4 our cumulative frequency before is 14. Our cumulative frequency there is 14. Then our class size still remains 3. Hope you guys are following. Okay, then guys, we will put in said, our formula there. Here is our formula for it. For our upper quarter, which is Q3. As you can see, then therefore we slot in our question. For our lower quarter, here is our lower class boundary rather. It's 8.5 plus this is 15, right? Put in your 15 minus cumulative frequency before, which is 14, over the frequency, which is 14. Our class size, which is C. This is one, I'm um, sorry, three. <laughs> sorry about that, three. Then this is 1 over 4 in brackets 3 plus 8.5. The whole is 3 over 4. 8.5 plus 3 over 4. 3 divided by 4 is 0 0.75. Therefore, once you sum it up, our upper quarter here is 9.5. Sorry, 9.25. 9.25 so, so it's as simple as that so while watching you can help us to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos for our day sales our day sales and uh total for our seventh day sale and our day sale here is n over 10 so our seventh day sale will be n in brackets then our n is what 20 over 10 so this cancel out each other there for our this result 14th position so our 14th position here is what right on dot you can see that so our frequency is 8 and our community frequency before is 6 so on our lower class boundary is 5.5 therefore our lower class boundary is what 5.5 uh cumulative frequency so here's what we need to look for our seventh decile okay move so our l1 is 5.1 and uh -huh, i noticed um i just thought of it that some of you guys might be having difficulty on how i got this our uh, class model size so this is what we do you just look for the difference between the class boundary of it if you notice it's almost the same that's why i keep on using three 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 so once you subtract it you keep on getting three back to this then plus the sum of this is what 14 14 minus the cumulative frequency before is six then the frequency of this is eight then you put our three here all right guys therefore we have 5.5 plus 
this is 8 over 8 so they cancel out each other therefore 5.5 plus 3 which is therefore our 7th del side is 8.5 8.5 as our cells this de out as simple as that therefore we move to the final solution for today then we can call it a day which is the percentile okay guys the Keep pushing. last solution for today which is our 20th percentile remember normally our percentile is over 100 so telling us to look for our 20 percentile will be 20 in brackets our n remember is 20 over 100 over 100 so 20 a 1 20 is 5 that's 20 divided by 5 will give us 4 then can quickly write our formula so once we get 4 can easily come back here to check 4 that falls on that 6 if our cumulative frequency before is 2 our frequency is also four. Then our class width or class size is three. Here it is. We start in our 2.5, our lower class boundary. Plus, you know, some of all this is four minus our some, um, cumulative frequency before. The frequency is two. Our frequency is four. Then we put our class size. Sorry, which is three. <laughs> Therefore, this is two point five plus. Then this will be two over four, which is one over two. Then you put your three. Two point five plus one over two. I would have go direct, but because of some of you guys might not understand, so I wouldn't want to skip any process here. So this so is 3 over 2. 2. So no, if you add this, you guys, to give us 4, but let us break this down to decimal. This will be 2.5 plus 1.5. percent, and therefore our 20th percentile is equal to 4. Our 20th percentile is equal to 4, so that's all for today. Can you like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more videos and you can also check up on our website for the courses that we have for you guys for those that love graphic design web design and many other things can check out on our website below thank you have a great day